guys marty schwartz here with marty music uh gonna break down the first part of one so we've got the intro part and that opening guitar solo for you guys in this video and not only that huge shout out and thank you to boss for making that killer sounding uh clean james hetfield style uh patch i'm using it on the boss katana so it's a free download you can check the description below for that it's super fun to play the riff with that uh with that patch so uh thank you boss for making it break it down. All right, let's get into this. Uh, the studio recording's a little bit sharp to standard tuning. I'm in standard tuning right now. We're going to take a B5 or a B power chord, which is the second fret A string and fourth fret D. I'm going to use my pinky. You can use your ring finger, either one. And with the right hand, we, we pick A, D, A, and then pinky comes off open D. So check it out. One more time. Then I'm gonna put my middle finger on the third fret. You could use your index if you want. I'm gonna do middle finger on the third fret of the E, and that's a G note. And then that same pinky on that same fourth fret D string. And you do the exact same pattern as the first one but instead of that A string, it's plucking the E string on that third fret. Check it out. The first one. Middle finger comes down, ring finger. First one again. You know, if that's easier, I'm going like that. So that second time, you just hit that open G to ring out. So from the top. Repeats. Open G. First one again. A new one, where now we replace that first note with the open A string. So I'm just going to use my pinky still on the fourth fret of the D, and play the same pattern as the first one, but that note's an open G. Then the G one again, so third fret E, fourth fret D. And then this little turnaround lick, you put your index finger on the second fret A string, and you hit open, open A to, I mean, sorry, open E to A and then cover the second fret on both of them. So, and then it starts over and the guitar solo comes in. So just to play that everything we did so far. Open A. That rhythm part starts over, and we bring in the guitar solo. Now, the first little, fr the, we'll just call section one of the first guitar solo. And so what's going on there is that's coming from the B minor scale. You can think B minor pentatonic, and then they're adding the second fret 
right there. We're gonna use some notes from the B minor scale, but you can plug it in by checking out the B, B minor pentatonic. So first we go. So I'm going two, four on the D string hammered. That's good for YouTube poop, I'm hammered. So two hammer to four, then two on the G. And then I get to the four on the G, and as soon as I pick it, I bend up a whole step and then let it come back down. So the phrase is, and then pull off from three to two on the B string. So we do a pull off to four on the G, you know, three to two and then four on the G. Then we do it again and we roll over to the two on the G. So, three, three, pulled off to two on that third phrase. And so after you pull it off, you hit that fourth fret G, which by the way is the root. The fourth fret of the G string is the B. Okay, so now we're going to go out of this position and do a little B minor run just along the G string. We start up here on the 11th fret G pulled off to 9 and slide that position down and pull off from 9 to 7. So. Then the third little pull off sequence is seven to six. And so I'm using my middle and index finger. So then we're back into this little whole step spot in the next position down. So my ring finger is on the sixth fret G and my index is on the fourth. And we pull it off, but you also hear the open G. And so it's just a, you know, it's like a not super strong note in there, but you can hear it. That's kind of how I, by listening, you can hear that it's on one string. And so that final thing, bah. so I'm hitting that one time on the second fret G, then the next time hammering up to that root, that fourth fret. Well, one more time on that pull off part. So next we have four on the G, that root again, bah. and then two, three, two on that B. And then four on the G, two, three, pulled off to two. And that time after you pull off to the two, you roll over to the two on the G. So there's a little hammer on to that four of the G. So that phrase, hammered two to four, two, three, pulled off, rolled over, then hammered again to that. So. Now we're in a new position up, you know, to give it a, a lift. So next, we it starts with this rake. That's what I call it. And that's a B minor arpeggio. You can't have a classic 
heavy metal opus without arpeggios. Um, so I'm just raking across this little B minor triad here. So that's 16 on the G, 15 on the B, and 14 on the high E. And kind of what you do is like, after you pick it, you roll your hand off so it doesn't go, you're not playing as a chord, you're going. So it's like after you pick it, you gotta practice it. Everything's muted and then try and time the pressure. And then you, you're hitting that B note up here, which is uh, 19th fret. Then it goes down to, seven, Pinky goes to 17th fret, and this is a little part where it's the B minor scale. And so that's uh, 17, 15, 14 on the high E. 14, 15, and then 15 on the B. So, So this is cool. It kind of goes back up that thing we did earlier. Um, now we're going back up that G string. Uh, so, so first we do uh, seven to six. And it's still part of that B minor scale. That's just the pull off between seven and six back to the seven. Then between the same technique, but between the seven and the nine. And then between the 11 and the nine. And then my ring finger's right there. I'm gonna slide up to 12 and go. 12, 12, 11, ringing out. And then that's the solo. Okay, so we're almost there. So we're in more arpeggios going on here. B minor, to be exact, B minor arpeggios. So pinky on the 14th of the A string to 12 on the D. And then 11 on the G. And then so this first run, it all starts with with that for each of those. So all three are the same. But the first one goes to 12, 14 on the G. Second one, instead of going up to that 14 of the G, it rolls over to 12 of the B like this. So you put those together. Okay, the next one, when you get to the 11 of the G, then your middle finger has to hop over to 12 of the B. And 
then I'm doing 14 of the B with my pinky. And then 15, 17. So that last run. Back down, and I'm now switching my fingers. One note each, all the way down to 12. And then when you go back up now to 14, you hit that 14 twice. And then 15, 12. So among that whole run, there's one time, you know, in other words, all the notes are one note at a time, one note each, except for that very final part, you hit the 14th fret on the B twice. So watch that, how that happens. And then Hetfield. And so it's a variation on the first riff. So it does that, but then it goes back to the first one. And then finally a wang two to four slide in. And we'll end this as section one. So you have the main part. through that all the way to the and we will continue on from there all right hope you guys dug that thank you again also a uh, huge shout out and thank you to boss for sponsoring the video and making that killer patch that you guys can get for free in the download link uh, down in the description below thank you for supporting marty music if you haven't i appreciate you subscribing and uh we'll see you again soon Thank you.